What's going on good people? Paige Batcher here with Kismet Ideas. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to create a landing page in Kartra. And before we dive in, I wanna talk about what's really important, the elephant in the room of what do you need prepared before you can actually go into the tool and make it happen. All right, let's dive in. When you're setting up a landing page, I could take you directly into the software, but my question to you is, are you ready? The first thing you really need to have prepared is what I like to call a sketch, or at least knowing what's gonna be included. So at least being able to say, these are gonna be my sections of a landing page, and we'll get into that. Number two, you definitely want to have your copy ready, or at least know relatively what you wanna say, and that kind of gets to what is the goal of this landing page. That's the question you need to ask yourself and write out a few things before you get bogged down in the software and the nuts and bolts. Hopefully that makes sense. And don't worry, we're gonna jump into the software here in just a second. Uh, number three, what graphics or photographs do you want ha to have ready? I can't tell you the number of times I know that people get frustrated because they're in there trying to find their headshot from three years ago and they can't find it on their computer and then they just completely, completely freak out, right? So get yourself ready, have your have your logos ready, have any graphics you need ready, have your photos ready, uh, or at least organized, and then you will be that much further ahead. All right, now when it comes to this right here, the sections or sketching it, that could be any number of things and these all really feed off of each other. So if my goal were to have you opt in for a, a training, let's say, then the best way to do it is just to sketch. All right, maybe I want a header section and I want a big picture of me. See, it doesn't have to be pretty. And I want the benefit statement to be here, benefit, and then a little bit of text. And then I want, you know, the bullet points of what's important, right? And then I want the opt-in page. So, or I want the opt-in form. So here's our form, collect the information, right? Just something as simple as doing this. And then, you know, maybe I'll say, okay, I want my footer on here too, right? Even if that's all you do, you're gonna be miles ahead when you actually log in to the software. All right, and then let's move on to what the next most important thing to do is. You've got two options. Option one, build from scratch. I mean, you could, you could, definitely. Or option two, if you're watching this video, more than likely you are going to be much better off by building from a template. I'm gonna show you both options here. Let's dive right in. All right, once you're on Kartra, and by the way, if you don't have a Kartra account set up, then there is a link in the description that you can get a free trial and follow along with me. So that would be highly appreciated if you use my link. You're the best. All right, so here goes. What we'll do here, and you can see from my pages here, is that I have tons and tons of pages. These can be broken up into sites as well as categories. So don't let that bog you down for now. For now, we're just gonna get started by adding a brand new page. So once you click on that green button over there, you can add a new page. This is where I talked about you have two different options. Number one, you start from a completely blank canvas and do start from scratch. Or number two, you start from a template, which is going to save you so much time. And that's what's great about this platform. So let's say we have so many different options here. Video sales page. Right? This is why knowing the goal of your page first helps. Long form sales pages, coming soon pages, product launch pages, product review pages, webinar registrations, all sorts of free things. Now in my sketch, I just showed you, I kind of, and there's more, there's more here, but we're just gonna stay focused. I showed you something that kind of, you can even preview these pages that kind of looked something like this for registering for an event. So I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and select that because this checks off my boxes. And of course you can look through these endlessly, but I'm gonna get started for the sake of our test right here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this uh, example. And again, you can select categories and you can also select sites, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here just to get started. The beautiful thing about sites and categories is that you can basically measure analytics across different types of category pages. And for sites, you can push headers and footers and tracking information and SEO details across multiple pages that are all put together in one site. Don't let that bog you down. Let's stay focused on designing your landing page. 
So now that you're in here, this is all about just editing from the template and choosing to update the information. Now I want to show you a couple of overarching things about how this works. And for that, I want to jump right back in to my whiteboard screen to show you the difference between sections. This is section two right here, as you can see, if you click on this little red icon over here, this is section three. I want to show you how sections work. And if you look up here, there is a difference between our columns and our components. So columns, right? We have two, two levels of columns with, with elements in each one of them. And then we have components, which are basically the smallest element that you could have, including this video player right here. Let's dive into my iPad for just a moment, because I promise you seeing this is going to also help you understand it. Okay, let me just show you this broken down simply so that hopefully this gets to be easier for you. All right, so you have sections, okay? And a section is anything you can think of as like full width. It's anything that would be inside of this section. And sections, in order to change those, you have the little gear icon on the side here, and you can change the information of the sections, including how much you know padding you want on top, or how much padding you want from the outside, even the background, if this has a background image or a background video, that's what you would change when it comes to the section. The second level of information we have are columns. Is that how you spell that? I don't think so. Columns. I don't know if that's right either, but you know what? That's not the point. Okay, so in columns, that goes inside of a section and you could have, let's say this would be, you know, it's not necessarily an outline box, but this would be a one column width. Pretty simple, right? Or if you had two sections here, right? This would be two columns. And within those columns, you're gonna have, basically you'll have settings that you can choose from over here and settings that you can choose from over here because they act as separately two different columns and you can choose from the settings that you want. This would include, again, the padding within these, right? The background, you can have a background color if you want, you could have a background image, you could have a background video. Whatever you want, you can also change that within a column, okay? And in order to get to the columns, there's a toggle bar at the very top of the screen which says columns and components. So that's our very next spot. Components are anything that you can think of like an element. That would be, let's say, a video player or a headline or amount of text or an icon. I'm gonna put a smiley face because, you know, fancy drawing skills here. So those are your components and you can edit those on an individual level. If you start to understand the difference between when you're, you're working on columns and when you're working on components, that will be a big deal for you in moving faster in this software. All right, cool. So that's it for the here. Let's dive back in and let's make this page our own. Awesome. So let's do this. Let's make this our own. So as you can see, again, I talked about this toggle up here between column mode and component mode. If you're wanting to change anything like text, any of the elements or components, you're going to want to be in that components mode. There's also this toggle here, which would show you your column outlines. That's not going to be published on the final landing page, but it does help you kind of understand where things are spaced out. Um, and so you can turn that on or off when you want to show your columns. And then these, these elements up here as well will show you what this looks like on tablet and what this looks like on mobile. Now, you can either design for mobile and have it adjust everything on tablet, or you can design for one or the other. The other thing that you can do is based on different sections of the page, you can also have those hidden or available to appear on all the different devices. Again, let's stay focused on just updating this page for the information that is valuable to you. So we can basically start by looking at our options above any component. You have edit, you have resizing. So you can see if I choose this resize, we can make this logo bigger or we can make it smaller. We have the move, drag and drop icon that shows up and we have the X, which would delete it. So on, on almost every single component, you get these four options and almost always you're going to be clicking the pencil icon to edit that particular component. So now that we're in here, this is the way that an image component looks. And so we're going to go ahead and choose uh, an image 
if you already have an account, then you've probably been already uploading things. And so you should probably have a logo or so uploaded. I'm just gonna grab one that we've recently used just to get this up here for this example. And then the last little ninja move, if you will, is that an alt tag is what Google will, robots will read when they come to your site. It's also helpful for instances when your landing page doesn't load all of the images. So we would probably give this a proper name, right? If it were like the Kismet Ideas logo, we would put that on there. In this case, I'm just grabbing one quickly to get us set up. So now we put that image up here, the TC logo. And one of the things that I can tell already is that it is it doesn't have enough spacing. So I can click the resize and make it smaller and that will give some spacing around it. Or if I still wanted it that large, but I want some spacing, the other thing under styling, and you can flip through all of these, you can link to different pages and that's really cool. There's a lot of options here, so don't get overwhelmed, but you can link this to another page. You can, you can scroll to a particular part of the page and it would scroll people down based on the section number. You can download a file, so you can actually upload a, P, a PDF or a PNG or whatever you want. And you can have people download it by clicking on it. You can pop up opt-in forms. You can do pop-up video players. You can do pop-up checkouts. You can see all the different types of link ideas. You can do a pop-out co content box that could send them somewhere else. You can do a pop-up affiliate sign-in form, pop-up membership login, a pop-up link to your calendar on Kartra. You can do a lot of cool stuff. So for this one, you know, we would probably link a logo back to the homepage, for instance. So we can just choose another page and we can even choose um, the Kartra page that's already built into our site. So this will allow us to choose any of the pages that we have right here. So I hope that makes sense. But the other thing I wanted to show you is style. So the most common things you're going to do with style is your alignment. So right or left alignment plus you can change border styles if you have any kind of border setup. And the thing that I most commonly use is margin. So if I want to increase the margin here, you can see that I am just going to increase the top and bottom margin by 15 pixels, and that will give you that spacing there. So, And then you just click apply. You always want to click that green apply button. So now you can see that there is spacing on top and on bottom of this logo. Same thing here, anytime we wanna change any of these, we can click into them or double click and we can change the hover color. You can also create a brand new palette. Okay, so you can create any color you want. Let's say you actually pull in the six digit hex code for your brand and put it in here. You can also then add it into your palette. So I hope that made sense. Scroll back a little bit if you need to see that again, but you can paste in a six digit hex code or you can find the code color that you want by scrolling through. And then you can simply add it on to a palette of your choice by creating a new palette down here. So I hope that made sense. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and apply that color right there. And then you can see that that is now the hover color. Plus you can change, it's all about getting in here and clicking around, okay? So I'm gonna move fast now that you've seen the basic layouts. That way you can get the sense of how to do this without spending all your time watching me going through the details. Be willing to click around and check out new things such as a fade effect or any kind of animation effects as well. So same thing here, let's grab this guy right here. And if we want to change this to a picture of uh, one of us or another kinds of pictures, you know, one of the things you're going to notice is that he is on a transparent background. So if you don't have a picture of yourself on a transparent background, you'll probably want to create one. Um, check out the link in the description. I'll have a video specifically for how to create a photo of yourself with a transparent background. Um, and if you don't have that, you can always choose something else. So let's see what would happen if I choose one that actually just has me in it full width. So that doesn't look the greatest right here. And that's probably why you're going to want one of those ones with transparent backgrounds. But for our purposes right now, it is taking that imperfect action that we're looking for to set this up. And again, I can add effects on it if I want it to maybe you know, scroll into the page or anything like that. So you can see there's now an effect on it. We can have it do any of these things or bounce or anything like that. So 
Then when we want to change the text, super simple, right? So free training on XYZ, something like that. Okay, so same thing here. We just click into these boxes and we can change any number of settings, right? From making it a bullet pointed list or an, uh, we, can, we can hyperlink things, which would be here. We can choose a hyperlink. We can choose the different fonts that we want. We can choose the font size if we want to make it larger. We can choose the line height if we want to make it, you know, more uh, closely squished together or if we want it to be further apart. Um, we can choose even shadows and different uh, text variations. When it comes to buttons, you have pretty much the exact same section settings over here as well. We've got the margin and the padding sections, plus we've got how large we want the button to be, what color we want the button to be. So you can see you can change that there, change it to red. We can make it left aligned or right aligned or centered. We can change the text on it, button text. We can change the font if we want to on the button. We can change the icon. If you want to display an icon, you can display icons on your buttons. Let's say this little martini glass. And again, you can link these anywhere you want and create effects if you want to, let's say, have them animate on. Boom. I know we went through that really fast, but what I always believe is true for every entrepreneur is that the more you just take action, the easier things will become. Don't forget that you can check out the links in the description and I have further tutorials and trainings and resources for you. Plus you can click my link to get set up with a free 14 day trial on Kartra. And I'm excited to help you in any way, shape or form. So connect in the comments and I respond to each and every one of them. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you've gotten value out of this video and you want to see more videos on mindset, software, and tech empowerment tools for business owners, then please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and we will be seeing you on the next one. Cheers.